You guys have been asking for it by the dozen, so ASUS sent over their Strix RX 480. Now this is the 8 gig model, it is uh, pretty awesome, it's very much overclocked and we're going to take a look at it in the video. But to give you a hint, it's still a very good DirectX 12 and Vulkan performer, so uh, yeah, stick around. So as usual, the back of the box has all the new features, including the R lighting, the GPU tweak to software, and the ASUS Fan Connect that we'll show you in just a second. Now the card itself features the exact same cooler you see on the GTX 1080, 1070, and 1060. In fact, it's actually closer to the 1070 as you have the lit up backplate on the, on this version as well, which I'll show you in just a second. But uh, basically, it's the triple fan design. There's a lot of heatsink on here. It's a pretty long, pretty heavy card, and obviously you do have the lighting effects on both the side, the bottom and on the back plate for that ROG logo. Also looks pretty stylish and as you can see from the side you can see a lot of heatsink as well as the 8 pin power connector which does alleviate some of the issues AMD had early on with the RX480 in terms of power. Now these do have the two fan connectors on the back which allow you to plug in fans that kind of directly affect the temperature of the GPU so say one right in front of the card and the rear IO is a DVI-D port, two HDMI 2.0 ports and two DisplayPort 1.4 ports. This is for the sort of VR friendly situation. Now in terms of specs you've got 2304 stream processors, an OC mode clock of 1330 and obviously 8 gigs of GDDR5. Now in terms of the lighting as you can see it's very uh, it's quite a cool sort of setup you have the uh, ROG logo on the top as well as the actual fans along the bottom and stuff like that too. In terms of performance you're seeing a decent improvement from the stock RX480 which is always nice to see obviously you're paying extra money for it so you'd want a better performance and in terms of comparing it to a GTX 1060 it's still not quite there especially DirectX 11 but it still blows the water off for DirectX 12 games and Vulkan for example the Doom test that I ran in this game is with Vulcan so it's incredibly fast uh, and a decent bit faster than a GTX 1060 as well so that's really impressive. Obviously overall it's still a very compelling graphics card uh, especially in terms of performance at 1080p and 4040p. It's still not a 4k card but Obviously, for the price, you're not necessarily paying for 4K either. And I've got to say, this card maxed out, at least in my testing anyway, leaving Unigen Heaven on for ages, uh, about 65 degrees. So that's really pretty impressive. To compare this to a GTX 1060, obviously the performance, especially in DirectX 11, still isn't quite matched there. The uh, 1060 still does have the edge there, but especially with DirectX 12 and Vulcan games, this card is pretty incredible and does uh, beat a 1060 quite handily there. So it's uh, it's a bit of a balance. If you're looking for performance right now, and especially if you want to play older games uh, or games that have you know fairly recently come out and just before, then uh, the 1060 is probably going to be the better shout for you. But if you're looking for longer term performance and looking for a card that's going to perform you know even better as time goes on then the RX480 is definitely going to be on to look for because DirectX 12 and Vulcan games are only going to get more popular as time progresses so it's a kind of I guess a little bit more of a longer term or kind of future looking card um, so it's, it's a bit of a balance to be struck there definitely um, in terms of this specific one the main uh, kind of cons for me really are that it's a little bit loud on a full load and the fans don't fully turn off so it's not as silent as for example the MSI version um, where the fans stop dead when it's not being used so um, there isn't really, you know, it's not a massive con for me. Um, the other thing is that in terms of price, this is actually less expensive than the MSI version, at least at the time of filming anyway. Um, and it seems to be just a little bit more expensive than the the uh, Sapphire version, or the, the not, you know, the Nitro version. So um, it's, you know, the, the pricing for me, I'm just kind of generally annoyed with RX 480 and generally annoyed with AMD's current pricing, as it seems just a little bit too high for what they currently are, at the very least. So. For me, I'm, uh, I'm not necessarily annoyed at the price of this, I'm more annoyed at the price of all of them in general, but um, to give specific kind of scores here, I'm going to go for a 4 for Vive Money. I think it's a really great performing card, and especially with the sort of future looking aspect of DirectX 12 and Vulcan, I'm going to go for a 5 here. Um, I'm going to go for, I think, a 4.5 for functionality, just because it's a little loud. Um, I'm going to go for a 5 for styling, because the R RGB lighting and stuff, you know, that's a a nice thing, I'll, I'll let you decide. And uh, yeah, in terms of uh, Tech Gym Movie score, I think I'm gonna go, go for a four and a half here and go for a gold award, because it is a fantastic card. It's still very uh, good in terms of general value for money uh, and in terms of the actual performance you get from it, as I said, especially with DirectX 12 and Vulcan games, it's pretty awesome. So uh, yeah, I guess that's that. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. 
And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe. If you didn't, feel free to dislike, but let me know why in the comments down below so I can improve for next time. If you want to pick up this card, it'd be awesome if you use my Amazon affiliate link or if you're picking up anything else, you know, your garden shed or whatever. And um, then if you could use the links down below, that'd be awesome. And uh, yeah, other than that, uh, I think that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to check out my reference RX 480, RX 470, 460, 1070. Oh, just there's so many reviews that you can check out, so feel free to check those out. And uh, yeah, other than that, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.